This is the Earth Science Classroom. Once the sun was put in the center by Copernicus in a heliocentric model, these other scientists moving forward could work with this and then do a much better experiments and understanding and put math into the, the motion of planets around the sun and how they orbit and revolve. And all this new work was being done and published and Brahe was a astronomer scientist in Denmark with his own observatory and he observed the motion of planets for about 20 years. A great massive amount of detail and accuracy went into his work and then he hired Kepler, a German guy that came up, young guy that came up and worked with Brahe and he worked on Mars and Kepler then formulated his three laws of planetary motion. First law, second law came in 1609, the third law in 1619 and they basically explained how the orbits are elliptical, not circular and that the uh, law of equal areas in terms of the, the speed at which the planet moves and the uh, Athenian perihelion is close to the sun and the third law was based on the law of harmonies which was basically saying that all the planets are distance is also related to the speed of orbit, which infers gravity before Newton work with. Then you had Galileo in 1610 using his telescope to see the four four moons of Jupiter, Ganymede, Io, Callisto, Europa, to Venus's phases, the sunspots, and the phase on the, the moon. So he pushed on, these three people pushed on astronomy to great heights once Copernicus put the sun in the center and everything was allowed to be worked with and the Catholic Church kind of lost their grip on the geocentric model. Thank you so much for watching the video. I hope you enjoyed it. If you like it, please subscribe and maybe hit the like button. If you like more on this content, please check out my channel, which has all these videos on Earth Science.